What's up? Rage Raven 57A here, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, y'all. And why did I say this in my uh, southern country voice? Because we're in the heart of Louisiana, New Orleans. And I, and I, was, I, I was legit about to go woo, but I have my door open, and I really don't want to sound like I'm just. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 there, there's a certain voice level I gotta keep. Uh, in my house, you know, just uh, for a more respectful term, of course. Anyways, enough of that. <coughs> All right. So, um, so yesterday, uh, we, yeah. So we arrived in New Orleans. Uh, we met a douchebag sheriff um, who, you know, is rather sus. I'm pretty sure who won't have any connections with the missing uh, people posters that we've seen. But we'll loop that, uh, you know, later. Right now, we got. A, another case that we found um, and we still can't change our clothes but we got another case that we found uh, yesterday a side mission that I decided to start uh, today so uh. alright so okay here it is alright so a man named Cole Seabrook the guy that's in front of us claimed that he was visited by a loa a de of death in the form of a black rooster now the loa um, is our Haitian gods um, or in other words, like, um, uh, voodoo and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, that, that's, that's it, really. I mean, just like voodoo and stuff like that. Which, honestly, I didn't know that, like, in, I guess, voodoo worship or something? Um, that they had, like, different gods. Like, I never looked into that, but now I'm interested, yo. I'm actually gonna be looking up these, the, the, uh, the Loas, uh, at some point soon. Um, but anyway. First, he heard a noise as something hit the house. Then the giant black rooster came in, controlled Cole's will. Controlled Cole's will. That was sound weird. Uh, being unable to resist, he was uh, brought outside. He walked to the pond where he met an alligator, who compelled him to enter the water where he almost drowned. Something weakened the spell, and he was able to get ashore. Cole's symptoms were blurred vision, dry mouth, and photophobia. All right. So yeah. Um, so what we got here is that he heard a noise, um, as something hit his house and then a giant black rooster of all things, uh, came in, controlled, uh, basically forced Will, or no, no, forced Cole to go outside and where well, he met an alligator who compelled him to dwell. It sounds crazy, but honestly, if, if, if this is all true, it, it's not the craziest thing we've seen all game. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, I'm quite surprised at how superstition this game is compared oh, no, to the other one. Body. Um, compared to the other ones, so but I like it. You know, like I said, it's a nice change of pace. As long as like the next games and stuff like that isn't gonna be like, as long as we kind of go back to like our normal, you know, regular cases at some point, then I'm fine with doing the superstitious stuff. You know, because I do like the little hint of realism. But this Are you is a cool. Good fisherman, come. I wouldn't say so, sir. Or maybe if, uh, Frogware, if you guys did, like, another, like, a, like, a new line of detective series games, and it's just, like, a guy that goes after, like, superstitious stuff, you know? Um, like, I don't know, the, like, the Tasmanian Devil, or, you know, stuff like that, like, myth, myth and legends and lore, you know? Like, create a whole new series about that. That sounds kind of cool. Um, but that's just an idea. Um, I know you guys did The Sink in the City, and honestly... Like, the game was cool, but I, honestly, I, I would never go back to play the game, you know? It's, it's just one of those games for me. Um, alright, let's continue. Supper leftovers. It's not a simple tea. A herbal concoction, rather. That tea seems not to be very popular here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. The Americans, ugh, they like green and brown tea. What's up with that? No, I, no, I, honestly, I prefer black tea, personally. Um, I don't know. I, I, honestly, it's mainly because I prefer health benefits over taste. I know it sounds weird, but that's just, that's just how I am. Alright, well, the chair, that clearly didn't happen because the chair isn't over there. So... I'm just trying to 
think. Why would he be in this position? Oh. Well, of course. Because of that. Lots of footprints out here, too. There are too many imprints here. It's hard to say where he did or didn't go. Alright, we'll, we'll worry about uh, that. Let's check inside the house some more. He dropped a cup here. Ah. Okay, so that makes me think, that, yeah, that's more probable than with him freaking out. Mix in equal proportion, golden rods, strawberry leaves, jasmine flowers. Golden rod, and I guess that's the three things that he awesome. needed. This one is almost odorless. Interesting. I will take it just in case. I would love to learn more about these. The healing properties of some herbs are truly amazing, Holmes. And some are extremely dangerous. Cold ground herbs here. You know, honestly, now that I th keep thinking about, like, the possibility of, like, them doing, like, a supernatural-based detective games, like, uh, making a whole different series off of it, they could actually do it, like, off of kind of, like, Supernatural. And I mean, like, you know, with Sam and Dean in it, like, that Supernatural, the show Supernatural, you know? Though it had to be way more action-y and stuff like that, but I think it would be pretty cool. It would be pretty interesting. Alright. Um, so wait, what's the other thing? <coughs> Oh, are we just like, oh, he's just drunk or something, like he's been drugged. Um, well, let's, I mean, well, let's think about it here. We haven't seen any signs of a rooster at all, right? So it could be possible that he has been drunk. So let's go with this for, for now. Like I said, until we find evidence that there has been a rooster in here. Um, let's, like, let's keep it logical, Cheap you know? and strong brew. I think in this kind of situation, when we're dealing with the supernatural, logic should always come first, right? Is supernatural, su is supernatural logic? I don't think so. I don't know, man. This, I, I, this is my first time doing, dealing with the case in the supernatural Some element, chewing so. chewing tobacco leaves. <clears throat> it's not a learning experience from here. Judging by the facial features, Cole and one of his relatives. With William in Shreveport, 1879. <clears throat> Alright, where's the uh, other thing? Okay, no, wait, we just got two out here. Alright, so I haven't gotten everything here yet. Sir? I must ask you, did you have a drink last night? No, sir, I didn't take a sip. It all happened before I went to bed, and I only drink to fall asleep. That's just how it is lately. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Improbable. Let's follow the footsteps. A feather. Not black, however. Hmm. You really expect to find the feather of rock here? And that might that may not be relevant to her case. Daddy, he was unstable. More boot prints here. And print he crawled. be the case uh wait we haven't found the other thing yeah i'm thinking that he may have been drinking so i, I mean we found a feather but it's not black so i'm not thinking that's relevant to our investigation here so i think he would i think he was just drunk cole was having dinner he was alone the herbal decoction started to affect him. He became dizzy and dropped the cup. 
Hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside. He could have drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water. Sir? Cole, I am sure that you were alone last night. The Lowers were not with you. <coughs> well, what else could you say? I didn't say that I disbelieve you. I'm wondering about this recipe. It's just herbal tea. I went to Mr. Sam D and he gave me the recipe to help calm my heart. Is he a doctor? He is a voodooist. It was risky, but all I wanted was some sleep. Where can I find him? On the side of the church at one of the entrances to the fisherman's quarter. Look for a Veve sign, but watch what you see. He has the power of voodoo. I'll be careful. Alright. I think it might be interesting going to uh, check out the doctor at some point, but for now, let's um, see. Actually, wow, there's a lot of things we can do right here. Um, first image quarter. Let's. He says by the church. Alright, you know what? Let's go. I was gonna say, nah, let's uh, hold off on that, but no, nah, actually, I'm interested now. So let's go ahead and go and see if we can find this one. So you can be found at the side of the church at one of the entrance to the fisherman's quarter. Okay, so he's at one of the entrance, the fisherman's quarter. Um, oh, I see the church on the map, so it's gonna be down here on the right. <clears throat> there we go. Is this familiar to you? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. The local seems to respect Samadhi, despite him being a little strange. He helps people with their health problems, can give advice, resolve dispute, and also remove slander and hexes. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. I've uh, been found at the side of the church. Okay. So let's go ahead and check around. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I think we found it now. See, I'm gonna go up to the guy, but I hoo doo doo voodoo, bitch. Uh, Semedi's letter, M dear Mr. Home, I knew that you heard about voodoo. You would be immediately skeptical. This world is not what it seems. I find it strange that in your journey you are still in disbelief. I am sorry that I won't be there when you come for me. I would love to help open your eyes. I presume you wanted to ask me about the recipe you found at Cole's house knowing of his tragedy I told him to brew an infusion from the turf the effect of that infusion were solace and mollification if you don't believe me read this book there are the answers that you seek may the spirits be with you Mr. Holmes Samity P.S. after you find what you are seeking please return the tome some books can do bad things if they fall into the wrong hands Semedi's book. Semedi offered a, a look at his book, which might give me some answers. A thick old book filled with notes on right spears and symbols. A significant part of the book is devoted to various herbs, their descriptions, and their properties. Uh, the local seems to respect. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we can ask people around this thing, but. Hmm. Okay. Ah, we can look up the answers about uh, each of these uh, things. So, uh, a plant with alternative elliptical pointed leaves, which are narrowed into wing petoli. Uh, it has yellow flowers and small and numerous baskets, less than an inch in diameter. So, go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, the stems in a narrow erect. So wait, hang on, hang on. Oh wow. Okay, it's just and paniculate for uh, inflorescent. Okay, so let's see. 
So obviously it's yellow. Um, it doesn't say anything about the smell, is it? See, I don't think it would say anything. Uh, leaf form? Uh, okay. Uh, I believe it's this thing. Goldenrod. A, per a perennial herbaceous plant. Man, you like how I said that big ass word there? A plant from the, oh shit. Uh, Asteraceae, what the fuck? Family. Uh, goldenrod, now it's just, now, I love how it says something big and then, like, it just goes back to being. Goldenrod has a strong, uh, diuretic effect. It's used for indigestions. What the hell? Rail, rail, what the f Yo, what are these big ass words here today, man? Make me look stupid. Uh, it has general anti-inflammatory property. Now, before we do something, by the way, did I ever say that this music is pretty damn good? I like this, like country music you know all right here we go here we go here we go rheumatism rheumatism Ru rheumatism a various rheumatic disease and disorder especially uh rheumatoid arthritis pain and stiffness in the joint muscle muscles okay <clears throat> all right so now we know about the golden rod talk about the green leaf so uh, green leaves, a bunch of green trifoliate leaves, one and a half to two and a half inches in diameter. Well, hang on. It says one and a half to two and a half, so we'll just keep that. Um, and then trifoliate and slightly, or slightly sour. Nice right, strawberry. Strawberry leaves are an effective remedy to improve appetite and normalize the digestive process. Teas and infusions with strawberry leaves have a positive effect on the work of the heart, help lower blood pressure, and have mild analgesic analgesic effect. Wait, that says analgesic, right? But it's like, is that like actually like up the ass or something? Anal. Jessic. Uh, to relieve pain. Oh, really? That's it? Just to relieve pain? Uh, medication to relieve pain. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's not, okay. There are sometimes called painkillers or pain reliever. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. I was hoping, like, then it said relieve pain. I'm like, you mean like up the ass? All right. <laughs> now we know. Now I know. I'm learning something here today, man. All right. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, so large white flowers. Well, let's go ahead and get the color out of the way. Um, about four to six inches tall, so we got four to eight. And fragrant flower have a strong, sweet odor smell. Jimson weed. Jimson weed, also known as devil snare, is a potent poisonous plant. In case of poisoning, jimson weed causes dry mouth, speech, and swallowing disorders. Dilated pupils, impaired near vision, fear of light, delirium, hallucination, and agitation. Severe poisoning is characterized by the loss of orientation and sharp mental arousal. I don't know about you, but I think my boy's Cole had a little bit too much uh, Jimson uh, weed. Alright. Alright. Jimson weed, also known as Devil Snare. Okay. So yeah, we might be going to Cole and telling him about this, but um, let's uh let's keep asking the folks around uh, Cole. Um, maybe they can give us, maybe they can enlighten us some more about, you know, seeing if he done anything weird last night. Can I ask you a question? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Uh, Cole's neighbor saw him that night when he left the house. They thought he was drunk. Cole was alone. No spears were observed. Yep. So let's go ahead and tell Cole that we think he had too much weed. And, um, yeah. And he was just cause. It was just, you know, the cause of the symptoms. Sir? Cole, where are these herbs from? I bought them from Zora. Her stall is at the market near the port. Oops. Did not meant to do that. I said that cold neighbor saw him blah 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 okay so zora her merchant can be found on the market near the port all right <clears throat> wait are we still talking about like the like ports like 
over here by the harbor master because I don't want to go over here and end up choosing the wrong thing. So it's like when I hear like ports, I, I'm th I'm thinking about like port docks and stuff, you know. Um, and pin this. Her merchants can be found on the market near the port. It said on the market near the port. <coughs> Didn't say it was on the port though. Whoops. Hmm. In the market near the port. Yeah, first we gotta actually like find the market. We never actually, uh, we never actually found it. Damn, it was, I just feel like it would be so easy just to like ask one of these people, like, you guys know where the marketplace is. Well, here it is actually. So we got dry goods. Uh, oh, we may have found it here. It seems hey, like it seems like the area. The fuck? <laughs> What's up with that guy? I, 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 like, come on. <laughs> uh, Zora. And Zora's a female, so should be looking for a female, but I can't yeah, find it. Zora will kill her. Did you see how she rushed in? Fierce woman. Yeah, I'm afraid for them Chinese and for anyone who messes with. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Zora went to the Chinatown market. She was wanting to start a fight with another herd merchant there. Zora is known for her quarrelsome temper. However, for the last few days, she has been unusually aggressive. All right, well, before we make a move to Chinatown, tobacco leaves, strawberry leaves, yep. And dried goldenrod, yep. This is definitely the place where uh, Cole got his herb. What is up with these guys making these weird ass noises? Like uh, that Spon one SpongeBob episode when he was just like completely sad. And then like his mouth started multiplying, like, you know, like twice and then like four times and like a million. Alright, uh, let's see, so, okay, here's Chinatown, and I think we have found our merchant. Are these herbs fresh? And you dare call my products of standard? Excuse me, are you Zora? I am. What do you want? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have several questions, if you don't mind. You are selling herbs, is that right? Do you want to buy something? Not really. I wanted to ask if you have the herbs from this list. Goldenrod, jasmine, strawberry. These are very common. I do sell them same as any other herb merchant. I came here because Cole Seabrook mentioned you. Do you know him? Unfortunately, yeah. He's my late husband's brother. Have you heard of Jimson weed? A poisonous plant, but it can help ease the pain if you know how to use it. Some believe you can use it to create a zombie, a willless slave. Is that what you wanted for Cole? Or did you sell it accidentally? Did Cole get what he deserved? <laughs> the Lowers heard my prayers. So you admit it was on purpose? I admit there's a higher power maintaining order and justice in this world, and Cole got what he deserved. I'm happy that it happened, but that doesn't mean I'm to blame. Can I ask what caused such hatred? The Sheriff confiscated all our weapons, and then the disappearance began. William wanted one raffle, just one to protect us. Cole was too eager to help, and as a result, my Will got a bullet in his chest. How did Cole explain what took place? He just walked away as if nothing happened. Cole is the reason I lost my husband, and he should pay for it. Don't you want to know what really happened? For me, it's clear. An innocent man would tell everything. Only the guilty remain silent. 
By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's like a dude like walking in the background during the cutscene that was just like walking into a cart, like just nonstop. Alright, so yeah, so this must be Cole's uh, brother. Yep, it actually says on the bottom, second man in the photo is William Seabrook, Cole's brother. Cole's brother William died recently. He was trying to retrieve his rifle that the sheriff confiscated earlier. It didn't go well. William got a bullet in the chest. Right. My day was no bowl of cherries, but you've ruined it completely. That it sounds super southern, man. I love that though. My bowl, my, my day is, is no bowl of cherries, but you had to come and ruin it. <laughs> oh man, you like cherry stuff? Ew. Man, I hate cherry, bro. That shit's nasty. So, I don't know why everything and everyone gotta put it in everything. So, but whatever. Sir? I've learned about your tragedy, Cole. My condolences. Zora told you, didn't she? Can you tell me what happened and why you feel guilty? My brother died. I'm alive, and William is not. That's why. Did you see who shot him? It was the bloody sheriff. I swear I saw him smiling. Tell me, what was the plan? William had to get into the warehouse through the eastern gate. The one not far from the market on the edge of the railroad, I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. So what went wrong? William went in, then came back with a rifle. I saw him jump off the crate and then bang! He was lying there dead. Hmm. What happened next? My heart stopped. I froze. Then the sheriff yelled, see if there are more rats. And I woke up. I ran away. I had just one task and I failed it. And for my mistake, the lower of death will come for me. Alright, so it all happened near the eastern gates in the warehouse near the market at the corner clock closest to the railroad. Cole was hiding behind the barrel. Yeah, let's go investigate it. But man, that's uh that is pretty quite tragic, so. Alright, he says it is Eastern Gate of the warehouse near the market. So that's the markets. He said the Eastern Gates. Um closest to the railroad. Okay. Closest to the railroad. That's the market. Near the eastern gates. Wait, let's just look real quick. The railroad. Actually, I think. East? Oh, I thought you said west. Um. This must be it over here. The warehouse Eastern Gates. According to Cole, it all started somewhere near the barrels. Chewed leaf, tobacco. Chewed tobacco. That's the spot. I hid behind the barrels. Bit. I was on the lookout. Okay. Where I was I cold located his story started near the barrels. Handprint oil. An oily handprint. The substance has solidified. I assume that this is cosmoline with which the gun was lubricated. William went in, then came back with a rifle. I imagine if the chef came, chef, the sheriff came, he would have probably come in this direction. Maybe. William was shot here. I saw him jump off the crane and then bang! He was lying there dead. The bullet went through him, and based on its velocity and map, this lamp did not leave William a chance to go unnoticed. Alright. 
Bang. And here we go. Shooter's position unseen for Cole. The sheriff stood here. Cole had no chance to spot him approaching. It's a terrible choice of position, and it cost his brother his life. Then the sheriff yelled, See if there are more rats. And I woke up. And what did Cole do? I ran away. He panicked. Froze. My heart stopped. I froze. There he goes, deep imprints. He was running. Cole sought safety in flight. Now I see why Cole thinks he deserved it. He simply left his brother behind. He did not have much of an option. Sad. I think Zora would like to know about this. I would assume she's back at her stall in the market. What do you want? Uh, well, let's be honest here, man. Even though... Okay, so this is quite important, right? So... Okay, so the... Okay, so their entire thing is, though, is that the weapon was taken away by the... Uh, I, I assume by the sheriff, right? So that was the law and justification. Cole and William both snuck into the places, and Cole was the lookout. William went in to get the rifle, even though they weren't supposed to, and came back out. And when they could have, and it, they could have actually, you know, like escaped, but because because of poor Cole's positioning, um, he couldn't see the sheriff coming by. And shooting William. But honestly, though, I mean, this could have never happened if this never started. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, your weapon got taken away. That's, that is a violation, technically, of the Second Amendment, if I have to say so myself. Because uh, this is America, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Mom, I spoke with Cole about your husband and went to the warehouse to inspect it. I cannot say that either he or your late husband were innocent. They both decided to steal. How dare you? Ma William only wanted to protect us. The same as Cole did. However, I know the man responsible for William's death. It is the sheriff. That jackal. Anyway, don't expect words of gratitude from me, Mr. Holmes. Your truth changes nothing. All right. So uh, yeah, I really didn't expect much from her. <laughs> um. I won't promise to forgive Cole. But speaking of which, I think we may, we may as well go and uh, revisit Cole. So probably this one last time. Um, which yeah, we'll be over here. Sir. I have good news. No lowers are coming for you. You were poisoned. Wh what? Zora sold you Jimson weed instead of Jasmine. That was the cause of your hallucination. She wanted revenge. It, it doesn't change anything. Look, the lowers were guiding her. I deserved it. I went to the warehouse and I know what happened. You are guilty of a poorly chosen observation point, but not of William's death. Your only choice was to run or die with him. But that's what I should have done. I should have died with my brother. Your quarter doesn't need another wretched man. You must keep living for your brother's sake. But how Zora looked at me? I have no right to move on after what happened. She might not be ready to forgive yet, but don't give up. You can only earn Zora's forgiveness by being alive. That's not as easy as it sounds. Don't waste the life you have on something that can't be undone. Well, there we go. So, I think we resolved it as best we could. Um, so, wow, this case went a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. First of all, you know, I was excited, like, ooh, superstition, let's go. And then we come in here, and like, oh, he's a drunk. And then it was like, oh, no, wait a minute, he was poisoned. Let's go find the herbalist. We find the herbalist, and then she wants revenge because his brother was killed. 
because you know they decided to go and steal some weapons back. I mean, it's 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 a it's a whole circle of mess, bro. But we got to the but we got to the truth. So and that's what uh <clears throat> and that is something that sh we should never try to uh, distort or anything like that. It's the truth because as soon as we start lying to ourselves and start uh you know you know telling things that we want to hear instead of you know telling stuff that we need to hear you know there's a huge difference between needs and wants you know humanity didn't st survive years and years and years uh based off of things they wanted to do they needed to you know build farmland and you know ride dinosaurs and stuff like that i know we didn't ride dinosaurs but you know what i'm saying right so we need we had to do stuff out of needs and stuff like that and um yeah and you know needs are truths all right so yeah I, I, sorry I didn't, I didn't really mean to get uh philosophical on <laughs> on anyone here but you know that's that's just you know kind of how my mind thinks you know so i prefer the truth over anything um so people have said that the champagne lives in the fisherman's quarter in a hut on a boat with two and two dogs okay so you okay so the young woman named lucy decided to help she said look for a room blah 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 Lucy said that a local woman called Champagne knows everything that she can help us. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're still looking into the banking house of E.W. Gray. Because um, we are trying to find... Uh, however, Zoe Clemens has confirmed the stone of his authenticity. Okay. Alright. So, we need to look for a house with... Two, two dogs on it. Okay, I think we may just be able to find it. Tocqueville, Lafayette. Hush now. No offense, Cher. Them two don't take kindly to gents. Especially foreigners. How can champagne help you? <clears throat> Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it, you know everything that goes on around these parts. Maybe, maybe not. What you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Sheer. I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time, you pay. Thank you. May have been one, two weeks ago. Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. That's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you know what. Thank you for the offer and the help. All right. <clears throat> I said, I would know that there's an opal trailer, trader. Oh my God, speak, Raven, speak English, bro. All right, Champagne shared some information about the black opal trader, trader, not opal trader. Uh, he's a rich man from the French Quarter. Okay, it's not a lot to go off of, but if that's the case. Um, think of a fine philanthropist. Okay, maybe. I'm thinking a jewel seller is gonna be a rich man. That uh, and and there are some opals here too. Uh, some talks about opals here. Yep, thought so. Most likely, Mr. E. Arnson. Uh, most likely the jeweler seller who stands behind the A in the telegram from the Edelweiss Institute is E. Arnson from the French Quarter. Alright. Looks like we are going to be going back to, uh, let's see, to the, to the French Quarter. Wait, have we been to the French Quarter yet? I guess we're gonna have to actually go around and talk, so. Uh, I say, let's go around Chinatown. I'm not thinking we're gonna get much help here, but we might as well. 
Sí. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I think I can be of help. Oh, thank you. Passerby suggests using a cab near the harbor. Okay, cool. To travel to French Quarter. That makes sense. All right. So I know where a cab is too. So let's go. So it's a good episode. That's actually kind of fun. You know, the fact that we solved an entire case in one episode and now we're like continue. Like we're still moving along. Michael Jackson? Did anyone else see that motherfucker just like walk the, the like the sidewalk or something? The sidewalk, uh, sidewalk? No, okay. Alright. What's up, bro? Got a spot in mind. Got a spot Prince in mind, stranger. Oh, I missed that dude from RE4. Alright. I just got a trophy called the New World, by the way, it's funny. You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. Yo, this actually does feel like, you know, like walking through an American neighborhood, you know, like in a suburban area. So I actually like this. It's a really good setting. Good job, devs. Okay, interesting. Lord, help me. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother, Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. <gasps> I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's he's pure and kind. Fear not. We will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. Oh, damn, we're in that chapter. The horror at the door. Ah, I knew what you were gonna say, game. I knew what you were gonna say. I, I, I think first I'm thinking uh, the horror Red Hook, but I think there's actually another Lovecraft book called uh, The Thing at the Doorstep something. I see Lovecraft uh, Doorstep. I remember there's a The Thing on the Doorstep. That's what it was called. So, but no, okay. So this is called The Horror at the Door. Um, so. Okay, so it'd be like the horror of Red Hook. Yeah, the um the story of H.P. Lovecraft's uh, horror of Red Hook is quite controversial, I would say. Um, I, I I honestly I'll just leave that up to you guys to like look that up and like you know see how. But yeah, it's uh it's interesting. It, it's it was part of it was in a part of his life where he was basically like in like poverty, um like he was like living in a bad neighborhood. Uh, like, I think it was actually towards the end of his life, too. Um, so, what the fuck? Uh, so, what I find interesting. So, alright. Hey, we can actually keep him in this disguise if we want to. That's funny. Alright. I'm just looking at other Watson outfits. Alright. So we'll keep him in that and then with Mr. Holmes. Actually, you know what? Let's go with this. He looks way cooler than that. So Yeah. Little little uh for hot days a cool fight. So yeah. Little uh flashbacks to uh chapter one. So 
Strong, locked from the inside. Steel, sturdy, intact. Oil, traces of mud, often used. I rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river. Along with all our clothes, books, tea. Locked down, been here for a long time. Well, I guess we're breaking our way in. Or did we just find the key? Why did we move this thing? Wait. Right, it seems like we do so. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know why we moved that thing, but interesting. Oh, I see why. Because we're looking for the key, and it is not there yet. Broken stem, chopped edge. I always look rather fresh. Oh, hello, Mr. Key. This must be the key to the stables. Cool. All right, well, you know what? I think this is a, uh, a proper place to end the episode. So, um, yeah, so, you know, we never we started a new chapter. We never know what we're going to be getting ourselves into here. Um, but hopefully we can find help. Uh, we will find our brother. Um, you know, if anything. I like to help people. So, uh, anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Anything uh, you want to say before we go, Watson? So quiet. Yet I doubt there was peace around here. Yeah. And yeah, you're speaking my mind, man.